right guys we're back in PHP and we are doing functions in PHP part 2 so beforehand we use functions that were defined already 700 or so they claim and now we're going to use our own function and so in this case it wants us to uh, get the length of our name if you forgot how uh, Simple, simple enough. You want to echo out str len, so string length, and Dylan, and don't forget the semicolon, and so there's five letters in Dylan, and that works just fine. All right, now um, you can see right here their function. They're defining their own function called hello world, and all it does is print it out. Um, so when they call it right here, PSC, it prints out hello world. So it's going to use that as our base example. So we want to create a function. And notice that it's, of course, called within the PHP um, um, brackets or anchors, whatever you want to call them. All right, so display. Um, See, I already forgot how to do it. Alright, yeah, so we need our brackets. Alright, so it's like a standard function. So, and what does it want? It takes no parameters and will echo a string that contains your name. So it's going to echo my name. So there, oops. And of course, and you see that it doesn't run it unless we call it. On line 10, write a function. Takes no parameters. Oh, that's true. Did you remember to declare function in the function display? Oh, so got to follow direction. Display name. So now it should work. Cool. On the line after your function, you should see your name display in the panel of results. Uh, I think it's asking us to call it. Yeah, okay. It's a weird way to say display name. So there it is, right there. So now we're going to write a function called return name function return name and I notice how this is, even though this was all common. Alright so we want to use return and in this case it doesn't ask for a parameter. So it's going to return Dylan. It doesn't display because we didn't call it. So now we're going to kick it up a notch. So we're going to write a function called greetings. And it's going to take the parameter name. And of course, remember that there's the uh, cash money dollar sign on our uh, variables. So then we're going to echo out a message greetings, comma. And make sure and add the space and then it looks like if we want to concatenate the string together we have to put a dot and then dot and the exclamation point and the semicolon and then we want to call greetings with our own name and so we're going to call greetings we're going to supply Dylan someone calling out. And there you see right there, greeting still. Cool. So, um, pretty similar to any other functions. Uh, we're going to write another function uh, about me. It's going to take two parameters this time. Uh, name, um, age, and from there, uh, going to echo out hello my name is 
put make sure to include the space. Oh, can we do it like this? Looks like maybe we don't have to concatenate it like that. And I am page. If that's the case, that is a little bit less of a headache. So then we're going to call our function about me, supply it with the string Dylan and the integer 27, and there it is. Bam. So that was functions part two. As always, we're going to share our Code Academy work. And next course, we will be working with objects in PHP. So we're going to start creating classes. Um, so you can see a little bit of what's going on here. But I will see you guys next time.